Controversial people want you to be angry. There's a rule in marketing and media, negative feedback is better than no feedback. In social media psychology, where people have the freedom to voice their opinions, anger is bound to generate the largest response. The media, politicians, YouTubers, influencers, and so forth use this to gain momentum and traction online. For the LGBT community, I think the three examples that pop up instantly would be Orange, Just Kidding, and Benefer. If JK didn't go full transphobic on Twitter, she wouldn't have generated enough attention for a new book. And the problem is that the people she made the angriest are also the ones who bought it. The book was so bad that people shared photos of it, which again added another round of publicity as everyone laughed and then paid. Even YouTubers like Logan Paul, MrBeast, and KSI are doing this, and Logan even straight up said it himself. I literally make a living off of people not liking me. So why does this happen? Online, where we all have voices, we feel good when we stand up to bullshit. It's an opportunity for change to be made about something that people do not like. Well, what happens when that change doesn't come? People just keep getting more and more outraged and the people behind it remain relevant for much longer, earning much more recognition and money than they originally would have. So what, should people just not stand up to hateful content and comments? Well, no, standing up to it is necessary, and if we remained indifferent about these types of comments and content, then we will essentially allow it to exist without receiving some form of spotlight that would hold the people behind it accountable for their words and actions. The problem comes in with viral screenshots of content. A lot of drama online is scripted, just so you know. So what can we do to combat harmful ideologies and comments made by people with large audiences? Honestly, do what you feel feel is right. If you want to make your voice heard, that's okay. Obviously, there's a fine line between what is and isn't considered worthy of attention, but I think at the end of the day, you should just take care of yourself. Personally, I don't throw tomatoes at clowns because the clowns want my time and attention on them for as long as I'm aiming. Peace.